Many of us unfortunately witnessed the destruction of local businesses, many of them black owned, during the Black Lives Matter riots that happened in cities all summer long. Today we found core boy Bala, who invested his life savings into opening this sports bar cleaning up. While our camera was there, looters came back to try to steal his safe. Right, trying to steal the safe. I don't know what we're gonna do. We worked so hard to get here. So hard. The wanton destruction, the looting, and it was defended largely by the mainstream media. Chris Cuomo said, Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Yeah, well, that's actually the First Amendment, Chris, but you're not sharp enough to know that, despite your having gone to Yale somehow. Degrees aren't what they used to be. And I'm sure that many of you had empathy for the store owners. I certainly did. I donated to a few of the shops. And the other day, I made a video myself about how our business was looted, a lot of damage to it. It was something that it's not the end of the world. It's not compared to comparable to having your business and your place just completely burned down. But everything was destroyed. The business is now non-functional. About $40,000 worth of stuff was destroyed, stolen, one of the two, or is absolutely unusable now. And the other day, even after this, somebody broke in and stole the remaining items of value. It's like a kick in the gut. It's insult atop injury. It's salt in the wound. And then I think to myself, okay, my business is no more and it is gone. I'll live on the money, the time, the investment of blood, sweat, and tears, all that sweat equity that was put in is gone. But then I think about the California restaurateur in Los Angeles that is told that they can no longer serve indoors. All the work that they put into setting up the restaurants, gone. And then they say, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Maybe if you serve outside, the COVID doesn't seem to spread outside as well. So go ahead, set up a tent. Here are the rules and regulations. So they invest the last of their dollars in doing so. And then the city comes along and says, yet, no more. You can no longer serve outside. Even though we don't have scientific evidence that COVID is being spread in this way, as one California health director or slash politician recently stated uh, when asked, they just want people to stay indoors. This is how the state is managing us. But nevertheless, my empathy is with these California restaurateurs, with the people that have lost their business. And even though I had empathy at the time and I just thought that it sucked, I realized how terrible it is when it happens to you. It really hits home. But the government doing it is just such an evil enterprise because in the name of safety, and you're never going to make things safe enough for everybody. And for the last year, everybody's been shut down in California until very, very recently when that stupid ass Gavin Newsom started to hear, feel the heat from the recall effort and decided, wait, maybe I'd better change tact. And he opened things up back a little. What adult? Get that fool out of office. Recall Gavin2020.com. Sign the petition if you're in California and then get out there and vote and vote to recall him when it comes up on the special ballot. But as I was saying, the empathy that we should feel for those who have lost their business should rise up to an enormous level. On social media, they show greater empathy for somebody who claims to have been called a racial slur. Even if they didn't get called a racial slur, even if they just see Smollett it, they get so much empathy. And the empathy should be for those who actually lost hard work, those who were producing something. So to my California restaurateurs, I hope all of you again vote out Gavin Newsom and Eric Garcetti in Los Angeles and anywhere that these draconian measures have been enacted. And one other question, if California is about the same in Florida in terms of the infection rate, in terms of death per million, even though Florida's population as a whole is much older, what is the excuse for that? California had such, some of the most draconian lockdowns in the United States and the world, whereas Florida had barely anything other than please wear your mask was the request. But California, uh, this is why Gavin Newsom deserves to be recalled. The buck stops with him. And yet Florida, their economy is keep 
keeps on sputtering and moving and going. And this is why so many people are fleeing California and moving to Texas and Florida, where the freedoms of the individual are honored. Whereas in California, if one person, if a small group of people have a problem with what you're doing, then everybody runs and goes to the lowest common denominator, which is that group, and says, there, 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 we'll mollify you because you have some votes and you've been screaming out publicly. The people that are producing something rarely have the time to speak out. Present company accepted. So, again, Florida... California, where would you rather be right now? Answer that and then vote for the leadership that you want. Ron DeSantis or Gavin the Douche Newsom. Gavin Newsom, the same guy that goes into the French laundry, says that he wasn't there, then claims, yeah, okay, I was there, but I was outside and masked. Then pictures demonstrate that he was inside and unmasked. Lying douchebag, liar. But that really is not the point of the video. The point of the video is to have empathy for those who have lost something and who have they had their businesses struggling because of the edicts of these evil governors and the left. And you'll see in the end that those who locked down are really no better than those who didn't other than the economy and the health and the mindset, the mental health of their citizens. Thank you for listening to this rant. If you enjoyed it, please thumb up this video. Turn that like button bluey. Share the video with a friend. And if you're new, subscribe. All notification bell. There's a Bitcoin address in the description of the video. If you feel like sending some, I do not advertise. But if you feel I've done a good job, I do accept donations. Peace and blessings, everybody.